are you? I hope you're doing well and you're taking good care of yourself. And uh, it's that time again, and we're excited to have you on board. Thank you so much for joining us wherever you are. And uh, as always, show me. Yes, uh, just to open up and to be real with the issues that we go through as the young people. And I'm uh, sure this is our third episode, if I'm not wrong. And in our previous episode, we talked and we talked about some of the fears that are affecting the young people, but Majama, we are all young, but at times the fears vary dependent on the gender. And today I have ladies, and you're going to talk about the fears that you go through as ladies and some of the ways that you can be able to overcome them. So today, Leo see this is security me tight to kunafanya si tight lakini at least director way to our producer way to our for ni mwanaume so just in case of very deal <laughs> he got our back so welcome and uh, feel free to interact with us and i'm sure by the end of this show we'll have lunch one or two things that to be able to help us to move on with life as they are people so my guests today have two beautiful ladies and I'll give them this chance to introduce themselves before we get started. And I'll start with this side. Hi guys, I'm Shiko. I'm going again. Uh, currently I'm a student. Yeah. Karibu sana Shiko to the show. Okay, my name is Millicent Motoni. I'm born again. I'm a graduate. I studied nutrition, so I'm a, I'm a nutritionist by profession. And you are welcome to our show. Oh, thank you, me. Oh, nutritionist by profession. Oh, okay. Our next talk <laughs> should be about nutrition. When you are doing it, you to not like the I'm sure we want to show you how to make boys. The boys who are the mafia, the boys who are the mafia, the boys who are the mafia, the boys who are the mafia. So today we are here as young people and as ladies, and we want to talk to talk about some of our fears and how we can overcome them. And those that you are not able to overcome, I'm sure in future we'll have someone who take us through on how to how we can overcome some of these things. So to you, Shiko. As a young lady, as a student, what are some of those fears that, you know, that those things that you fear, some of those things, you know, you face as a young, as a young person and to be precise, as a young lady? Well, I'm old, but you can meet No, go for crowd. Wow. Okay, at that time you are so young, you are so naive, you don't know what is love, 
and then you are being dumb, you just cry and cry, Uraona like life in Africa Musha. Sometimes even others have become suicidal. True. You find that and I can't open your door because of something so small. And when you grow old when you are okay, okay, grow, you know that was something so small and I'm not yani si the kia yo ki wango ya kunya dawa or something. Yes. So in in one in one way or another you find most young people, especially us as women, you know, like, that, that thing in a movie that I quit, depressed, and I said, I'll never try any invasion again. See, you know, I'm all messed yesterday. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, you never know. I can't put your love into Yeah, but ladies. No, don't take your life because you've been left by 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 a man. You know, but no man will be out there. And at the right, <laughs> and at the right time, God will remember you with the with the right time. Okay, actually, Achika, too. Take time, mourn the relationship, pray, and God will give you the grace to move on. But you see, she never Maybe you are never meant to be. So. When your heart is broken, just okay, more about it, but take that step and uh, move on. Mili, yeah. for you, what are some of those fears that you have faced in the past or you're still struggling with right now? Okay, myself, I can say I have so many fears as a young person, as a lady, of course. Uh, one of the fears I have is the fear of failure. So, yeah, even the men say that. Yeah, mm -hmm. because. You find like uh, as we when you get tired, you know, by 25 I should be driving, I should be having a child, I should be married. But that time you know, 50 or 25 years, and then you are like, no, I've I've not achieved this much. Yeah, <laughs> you feel like I'm, I'm feeling in some ways. Now when I'm thinking about that, you you find yourself you are you are finding on someone else. By 25, they are married, they are driving, they are having a good life. Mm -hmm. But how we can't be on the same level at the same time. True. So you find most of the times you end up with the chokia. You can't even stand in front of people because you know, I mean, I don't have things they have. I'm not dressing well like them. I don't have the things they have. That is one of the fears we face as a young person. Mm -hmm. Again, as there is fear of aging. And <laughs> 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 come again, come again. <laughs> Fear of aging. Who wants to grow? <laughs> so you find, like, you want to slay a bit, you want to apply those makeup, you want to put the nice, nice, sweet, big, a lot of napata. And you're saying, are you addressing someone here? No! <laughs> I'm just saying, because even myself, every time I'm celebrating my birthday, I'm like, no, I've done nothing. Like, what is this? Mm. Eh? No, no, eh, this is. This is a thing like in my time, what I do, in my own time, in, in the own God's time, everything will be okay. True. Yeah. Hey, Nastana, fear of aging up. Okay. okay. I, I remember at some point I was having a conversation with my dad. I, told, I can't remember how old I was at that time. I think I was in high school, if I'm not wrong, and I remember telling him that if he must be that with Sankuzeka. You can imagine the answer in your name. Starting December, but you can imagine. But also as women, at times we feel inadequate. We feel like we don't measure up to that task. We don't measure up to that job. We don't measure up to that to that position. Uh, how would you, what's your take on that Shiko? Feeling inadequate, feeling me the men have the men have it but as to the field you know that to to continue to see a teacher here yeah but really didn't it's a good one uh-huh they never gonna to that you are around and for you me we may feel inadequate yeah myself i've seen it but currently i was sorry uh, girls have an equal power, yeah. Sana. Mm -hmm. And then you find like, bado, they feel like that. I can't stand on my own. Yeah. I can't do anything on my own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen several cases, but these days, to be sincere, girls have an equal power, empowered Sana. Mm -hmm. But maybe because I have a few cases, then it's equal. 
because you find like even after you end up with that job, yeah. and you find like even when you're going to that interview, you're you like I'm a lady, I don't know what I'm going to do, and sometimes even the side people they tend to take advantage of you. Yes, because at times of when okay, these things happen, I'm not afraid to say that. It has still because it's never like. I want to go with that video and sit sit with her during my career job. Sasa na ona why me? Why why us? Why us as women? Because I find it's hard to argue with people. So I've seen several cases now. People out there are still struggling with that thing. So yeah. see if you could go as Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and I think we 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 have what it takes as ladies. So let us not feel you know to feel we we can't take that position. We can't take that job. You know. Just, just dijaze and they are go for it. The last that can be done to Abdua Apana, but don't start feeling with she at Abado Jajalibo. So, being in church as ladies, do you feel like the, the, the church is addressing some of the fears that uh, women are going through? That, like the church is giving us that, uh, that uh, freedom, like to be like the women do, and to be able to explore ourselves as women. Do you feel the church is doing that? Okay, somehow you feel like it's not doing enough. Okay, so what? What is it? Kubali your stage. Kukifika plus size, 
very happy your stage. Mm-hmm. It happens. Hakuna ndio inaweza change. Yeah. Na hii kama utaki hiyo kuna jeep inaenda huko. Mhm. Yeah. Oh, maybe now you've been a nutritionist. What's your advice to what giving what weight to go lela lela? Okay, that is a white topic. Uh, if I may talk it about, I, if I may talk about it right now, I may take the whole session. But one thing I advise a person: make your self-esteem very high. Like, akuna mtu ada kujua kuambusha kambi ya you are just gaining weight, you are shaped just like you just look like other people to be out there. Lift your head high, eat whatever you want, it's mean as a same way for. Because then you eat sometimes, you can't even know when you're getting weight. And then you find like, the dresses I used to wear, all the sisters made this. Especially when you're going to come and then you're at work. And I said, I'm going to go to the house. You start to blame yourself because you're saying, what do you want to do because I'm getting weight or something? Just be yourself, like she was saying, be yourself. Because yeah, no one should even know yourself and see because I think you are getting on the or you are small or something. Just be yourself, feel too. That is the best thing I can say. Be yourself, accept yourself the way you are, and move on with life. Oh, I, I totally agree with you. That our self-esteem should be. Ah, yeah. Up there, because if it's up there, it, it, you won't feel bad. Even at because at times it, it's as she she goes saying it's a stage. There are those stages of Dakota. It's not a big deal. But some point is that you lose weight. At whatever stage it is, it's good to.
eat up the noodles. Mm-hmm. And then you find most of the people, like when you are sitting in, in a certain room, yeah, yeah. you find, let's say, kuna, okay, at a time, let's say, 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 let's say,
you are self expecting right? Yeah. And if your self esteem is high, nothing will keep you down. Nothing will keep you down. Nothing will keep you down. Let's hold our self esteem high and let us put our trust in the right.